Right, welcome back people. Pit lane has now opened, which means that the bikes are trickling out on track with hopefully their lead rider, who will be armbanded. I'll try and keep you up to speed with that at the same time. And also for any riders emission, emission, omissions even. pulling the humongous stoppy and then we wait for the flag to be dropped and then there is going to be the sprint across to the other side of the track the bikes will burst into light and it is Collins that gets away first on the 99 machine they and the number one machine uh, gets away in second position they've got a big gap at the moment as they go around Redgate so the Lextech Racing and and the number two qualifier, the Jackson Racing, FWR Racing machines have got away first off. Gearlink is down in 17th. They've had a bit of a mare of a first lap, but that is the 600 being overhauled by all the big ones. So we've got just very, very quickly, we've gone red and flux. So I can see people along that brow of the hill looking towards that area. So I'm going to take an educated guess as we bring everybody off track and into the pits. That's where it's going to get interesting. Um, yeah, the 99 machine and the number one machine are going to be fighting this out big time. It's going to be very much a case of are the hairs going to disappear away from this, which is obviously the 99 by Collins McConnell, etc. Or are, dare I say, the real endurance experts that are doing this the right way going to prevail at the end with proper heavy, heavy fuel loads, proper tyre changes, etc, etc. Old school, as I put it. So we could, could be looking at something a little bit special. Let's see if I can find a couple of other victims while I'm going along the way. We've gone red again, thank you for... Yes. The dreaded red gate beat has, uh, has, called, has called us out again, so uh, we, could be, we could be looking for it. everybody to at least be lined. So as far as I can make out, I'm just listening, I think it's line astern behind the card. So, no sooner do I come down here than everybody comes back in again, so I'm going to get out of the way for a minute while everything comes back in again, and uh, we'll see where we're going and have uh, another quick chat along the way if we can. Safety car acknowledged and mobile. Right, listening to conversation, the number two machine has come back into the garage with uh, a fair bit of colourful language. Attention pit lane, we have visited this within less than five minutes. There's an area of contamination at Redgate, but we 
we think this stoppage will be less than five minutes, so please stay in the order in the pit lane as per the short red flag position. Right, being in the right place at the right time, and one very, very unhappy rider shaking his head, and that is... Uh, the second lodge rider. I'm trying to stay out of the way because I know that he's going to get really colourful in a minute. There is a lot and lot of arm waving round here. The number one Lectech machine has come in and that was one of the bikes that's been down and that is a bit of a mess to put it mildly. It looks very cosmetic at the moment. The fairings and what have you. It wheeled itself back into the garage but there is a lot of hands around that bike and there's a lot of discussion going on round here and uh, Jonathan was not happy and the word's not happy now he's absolutely livid so I'm going absolutely not within 10 feet of him for the moment otherwise I might get a few choice quotes changing and going in and doing some work and then adjusting bits and pieces so um, <clears throat> job done for them I think for the day they're getting what they want and uh, just uh, <clears throat> making sure they're in good fettle for a couple of weeks time very strong team uh, 99 machine of uh, Bob Collins Billy McConnell and Richard Kerr by the uh, victorious number 99 team. I'm sure that's uh, another tyre that Mr Collins uh, is going to pass on as a scrub. But uh, and congratulations to everybody that finished the race. It was been a tough day. A, couple of, a lot of incidents, a lot of people out. Guided for the Lodge brothers. Uh, looking forward to a little bit of a battle with them, but unlucky for them, really. Just a bit shit, but... Or finish first to finish first or whatever they say. But yeah, good. Good, good day. Okay, everybody, if we get a little bit hot, we'll get through this presentation as quick as we can. First off, um, the language in race control gets extremely blue towards the end. Of I can't remember such an eventful, 
endurance race for quite a long time. So congratulations to everyone that finished and uh, I hope the ones who had a minor tumble will be fine. And if we do have to give a big hand of a round of applause, although they're mostly up there, to the marshals, because they kept that game to their best. Okay, so now we're being allowed to use the big boys podium, we better get on with it. We'll call the teams out and then Christina direct you up the stairs and you can come have your photos taken. We'll start with the Club 600 in reverse order. In third place, in the dog racing. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, in second place, we have HEC Racing. Yeah. And the winners of the Club 600, Titan Racing. We do have a trophy for the highest place team with all novices, and that also is in the doghouse racing. So you get one more award as well. What's that for? Is that right? Did they win that? They did win the Did they? Oh! We are racing! In second place, DWM racing! Found Team Jackson, didn't they? Yeah. And the winners of the last 1,000 for the 700 kilometre, they won round one at Silverstone, they won round three. Team Jackson stroke FWR. Yeah. Come on, I need a wee. <laughs> She's prostate. An old man wee. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we give a big round of applause, please. That's our winner, so come on, bow, 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 bow. All good. Okay, well done to you all. Hope to see you all tomorrow. Have a great evening. Thank you.